and maybe dubbed the APEC CEO summit. But geopolitics was never going to be far from the discussions. As U.S. President Donald Trump continued his Asia tour, meeting President Xi Jinping in China, the shifting roles of the two major powers was a key topic. The chief executive of Hong Kong SAR and presidents of Peru and the Philippines all made strident cases for trade liberalization over protectionism. Dark clouds uh, always dissipate, sometimes takes a while. I would say all APEC has to do is keep going, you know, keep pushing. Diversity will always pull us in separate directions. But regional integration anchored on open and free trade will allow us to maximize the opportunities. And speakers also emphasized the need for growth, not only to be strong, but inclusive and sustainable too. We in this bank attach such a great importance to promoting investment in infrastructure without leaving a big footprint in environment. Indeed, we want to improve the environment. We want to address climate change and to deal with the consequences of climate change so that the development could be really sustained. One recurring theme has been how so-called disruptive technologies such as automation, robotics and artificial intelligence can bring real opportunities but also real worries for workforces, including many of the people in the hall at the CEO summit. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Da Nang, Vietnam.